Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a brief update on what I've been up to in the past year and the videos you can expect from me in the coming months. I've been working on a couple projects and have not gotten around to making videos on them yet, but here's a short collection of clips. For the last year, I've been procuring parts to build a 4x8 CNC, which I'm just finishing up on. I started building the plastic monstrosity CNC that I found on Thingiverse, but I ended up modifying almost all the parts in the machine, instead building it out of 3030 extrusion. Here you can see the machine in action and a few clips on how it works. The project runs on belts and uses an Arduino microcontroller with the Gerbil software installed. With my current settings, I have an accuracy of about 0.1 millimeters with a slightly higher accuracy in the Y axes. I've been having some trouble leveling the machine, but that should not be an issue for 2D cuts, such as plywood. I can cut 4 foot 1 inch in the X axes and 8.5 feet in the Y axes, so I have lots of room to play with. Now that the machine is nearing completion, I can continue my work on the dinghy design, which will be one of the first projects on the machine. This will give me some more knowledge on how to make precise plywood cuts on the CNC, and give me some more experience before I lay out the Tiki 30 design. Another project I'm hoping to work on, which might happen before the dinghy, is to redesign the hatch on the Potter 15 sailboat I have in order to make it watertight so that I can feel more comfortable pursuing rougher conditions in the boat. Here you can see some of the designs I've tested out on the machine so far. Everything's coming out pretty accurate and looking good. I'll have a more detailed video of the machine coming out where I go through the basic build process, cost analysis, the types of electronics I used, the 3D models I designed, mistakes I made, and so on in the near future. I've made a lot of mistakes in this build, but everything is a learning process, and I think in the end it will be a fairly good build that others might take some inspiration from. In addition to this project, in the fall of 2020, I finished an e-bike build where I developed a battery made of 2170 Tesla lithium-ion cells. This is a unique battery build that I have not seen done before, where I 3D printed specially designed caps, spacers, and clips to design a weldless battery. This is held together by threaded rods, nuts, and washers. The battery is held up to extended ranges with trips of 50 kilometers on rough trails and speeds up to 55 kilometers an hour, so I think it's been a pretty great success. And I've been monitoring the battery through a Bluetooth battery management system. I've also got a short video in the works from a canoe trip I did in the late spring, early summer last year. If you're interested in any of these upcoming videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you.